Hey guys, Joey Versa here and Miss Fleur. And we are here today to talk about strawberry shortcake reproduction uh, banana twirl um, by Altea. Um, I probably totally hacked that, but um, anyways, that is what we are here to talk about and to open. So here she is in all of her glory. Um, super excited about her. Um, the box is kind of, uh, it's kind of cheap. I don't know for the people that um, have got the Target um, strawberry shortcake reproduction dolls. It's, it's kind of the same. I think it's a little less quality even than that box um, by Bridge Direct. Um, but the reproductions are pretty dang adorable. And since Banana Twirl um, online is like insanely expensive to get the real one, like we're talking like $300 or something like that. And I almost did it a couple times just because I wanted her that bad for my collection, but um, I never did. And so um, I got the reproduction because it's a lot more affordable. Um, along with the reproduction comes this book. Um, it is very cute, except for, <laughs> cards just fell out. It's very cute, except for I can't, um, read it. It is not in English, and I can't, um, but it is very cute. Um, looks like we've got a lot of little, like, stories here. Um, cute little pictures. And there is cute little like thing on the doll maybe her history I'm not sure and um, oh and a recipe for banana bread everyone's favorite um, so yeah I am super excited like looks like even like little craft projects um, that's an adorable little pamphlet kind of unusual that this big pamphlet comes with the dolls but um, she came with a greeting card, um, very sweet, very sweet, I should say. Um, so let's do it, let's open her up. Um, it's easy to open her up, there's like no tape, literally it's just flaps. Um, so that means it'll be easier to put her back in a box and everything. Um, little plastic shell that slides out. And she, and the plastic shell says uh, strawberry shortcake up on the top too. But she is not tabbed in or anything. She is just laying in there. And she is adorable. She doesn't really smell like bananas. Kind of like a little bit maybe. Like a little bit of a weird baby powder with a slight banana smell maybe. If that's even it I don't know but she is darn cute so here she is and she's got these cute little bows in her hair and her little pigtails um, she it's probably like how the original one was rooted um, she's got like a little bubble cut and then like little pigtails just rooted on the sides um, so it's not like her hair is like rooted down the middle and then split into ponytails it's actually just a short hairdo with the little side sprigs coming out. Um, looks like her shoes are, they feel very similar to the original doll's shoes. Um, maybe a little stiffer rubber, um, cause the original Kenners were real squishy. These aren't quite as squishy, but they're probably better quality actually. Um, they're very cute. And she's got cute little tights on, her little berrykin tights, um, cute little original little print on her dress, uh, little sheer sleeves, and her screening is really cute. Um, yeah, she's pretty darn adorable. Um, the hand mold's correct, she's got the later hand mold instead of the flat hands, which I know a lot of the reproductions for some reason had been doing the flat hands. So she's got the correct hands, which is nice. And she is marked nothing on the back of her head. And she is marked nothing on her, oh, 
She's marked nothing on her back, but I wasn't going to do this, so, but she's getting undressed, sorry. But she does have, the reason is, she's got printed panties on, which that is a total new thing. That's a new, new thing for this body. The original dolls did not have printed panties. They did not have any panties. So, um, I'm not usually a fan of sculpted panties. Um, and just kind of takes away from the illusion. I don't know, it's weird to me. I'd rather just have actual panties than have printed, but she has little printed panties and she has no markings um, on her feet, no. She has absolutely, she has no markings on her whatsoever. So that's unusual. Um, I'll tell you. Uh, I'll get it right, I don't know. Um, but her bows have, looks like little bananas uh, made out of felt sewn on to them. Um, yeah, she's super cute. For So for collectors that can't afford some of the vintage, rarer dolls, I definitely think that this is, I mean, obviously as close of a, close of a thing as you're going to get. Um, for a cheaper price. Um, they run like, I don't know, like 60 or $70 on eBay, um, sometimes including shipping, sometimes not. Um, and most of them are going to, if you're in the US, most of them are gonna be coming from overseas. I've seen a lot from France and from Spain. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I wish they had come to our market. Um, I don't know how well they would have done, but I would have thought, I don't know. I think they would have done just as well as they do overseas here, at least. There's a lot of Strawberry Shortcake fans out there. Um, and so, yeah, uh, what am I doing wrong? Okay. Um, but yeah, she is, she is adorable and she is going to fit right into the Very Happy Home with everybody and I'm very excited to finally have her. I had a rerouted one that I like made and I made her in her little aerobic outfit that she wore when she first appeared on the show. She's pretty cute, but this looks like the real deal. So I'm very excited to have her. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, it gives you a better look on whether or not you want to add this doll to your collection. Have a good one. Bye, guys.